it's just Mike here, back with another FMH5 video. And this is my first update for my FMH experiment save here with Manchester City. So if you remember in the last episode, I completely cleared, cleared the squad. I've now simulated it into the season and I bought one player. Um, so, yeah. Uh, they decided to buy one player and see if that would do it for them. Let's see how they did. Um... Yeah, does not look too good, does it, guys? Really? To be fair, not a bad start there. Um, so some wins against Crystal Palace, Everton, Ma uh, beating Manchester United there as well. Uh, Sparta Prague in the um, UEFA Champions League as well, and lo only losing four three to Barcelona as well. So some interesting results there. Uh, finally, getting and losing to Barcelona there, beating Chelsea, beating QPR. Sparta Prague again, two victories against Newcastle, one in the cup, one in the league. 4-0 uh, to Villa loss there though. Uh, Holland Crystal Palace picking up wins, beating Manchester United once again there. So Manchester United not faring very well against this weakened team. Uh, obviously dropping down to the Europa League, winning through the first round and the second round as well. Uh, and drawing to Atletico, but then losing in the replay. Uh, so knocked out of the Europa League there, and obviously very poor run towards the end, which sees them finish in oh, 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 18th. So Manchester City have been relegated into the Championship as well. So it'll be interesting to see what happens next season with these. Will I bounce straight back up? Will I spend the money and actually... Will I actually spend some money and, and get the players in that can take them back up to the Premiership? Um, we'll just have a look at any key transfers you've got here. Uh, Barahimi moving to Aston Villa. So that's a, a big one. I'm presuming Villa must have sold some players to get some uh, money in for that move there. Uh, let's have a look what else we got. Um, so January transfer window. So Colos Vela moved to Chelsea. Got Kevin Volland as well moving to AC Milan. Some big, I suppose some fairly big moves there. Um, let's have a look at the start of the season. Nothing major. If Diaby moving to Everton, Ferrero moving to Chelsea, the one sign in Manchester City made. Uh, Schneider moving to um, Atletico. Nothing out of the ordinary to face. Most of these. Moves I actually see on most saves on FM, so nothing out of the ordinary really there. Uh, it'll be interesting just to see where a few of the the players have ended up then. So let's have a look at... Actually, let's just go through and see. So we've got Messi, Suarez and Neymar at Barcelona still. Let's see if we can find the first Man City player um, on the list. See who we can find. Junior Drax is still at Schalke as well. Falco obviously gone back to AC Milan at the end of the season. Um, Raheem Sterling, £33.5 million pounds now. Sergio Aguero at Fiorentina. That's a, yeah, a brilliant signing there for Fiorentina. What a signing that is. Have we got... I'm wondering kind of where... David, uh, David Silva there, Granada. I'm wondering where the likes of like... Um, Oh, what's his name? Companies ended up because I mean, obviously he's a top class defender, and it's uh, I might have just missed him. I'm pretty soon he's worth a fair bit of money. Fernando's gone to, to Atletico, so I'm just going to jump onto the actual Man City transfer screen and transfer. Basically, we had to do a few. Obviously, I basically at the start there, I had to put in a few players into the my club database. Um, they just made up players and made up, and then I just transferred them to random teams. They were on one star uh, current ability and um, one star potential ability as well. So they're not going to affect the game in any way, shape, or form. But I had to put them in there just so they had eleven players to start the game, but then I had to transfer them out as well. So Sami and Azri. Um, some team I've not really heard of much about. Uh, Sanya still a free agent. Jeco, Fernandinho, uh, Nastasic Sporting, uh, Negredo, Lazio. It's a good buy for them. Michael Richards ended up at Hull. Um, who else we got? Yara Torre still on a free. Look at them stats still and on a free transfer. That is ridiculous. 
Um, he's obviously one of the youngsters that came through. Pablo Zabaleta has gone to Aston Villa. What a buy for Aston Villa that is. Obviously, we've already saw Aguero. Scott, Scott Sinclair has gone to Blackpool. Joseph Hart still on a free transfer. No one's looked to buy Joe Hart up. Um, so that's an interesting one as well there. Navas at Porto. It's a quality signing. Vincent Company has gone to Arsenal. Now let's see, where did Arsenal end up in the end? Has this helped them turn their season round? They actually lost to Chelsea. They actually pulled, got into the Champions League semi-finals. Now they're finishing third. Tottenham finishing second as well. So interesting. Hull finishing fifth there as well. So did, uh, who was it, Michael Richards who went there? Where are we? I don't think he played much to be fair, did he? No, no, 42 games, yeah. So why was that defensive rock, Michael Richards, the main reason for Hull being all the way up there? So yeah, really interesting, guys. So hopefully... Um, Manchester City will buy some players the next season, so it won't just be a great out team playing because it's kind of you know realistic and so on and so forth. Not that this experiment's very realistic, but yeah, hope you'll join me in the next episode, guys. Where we're we'll looking at the season's review for Manchester City's first season in the Championship. Um, hope you're looking forward to it, guys, and I'll speak to you legends soon. <laughs>